hanging from a tree limb. My waiter's dried in campfire light, looking like a half man. Standing silent, my visitor for the night. An east wind came in, charging the embers, sparks in my side. I got this feeling from just outside the fire's glow. When I looked around, my calm was broken. I wasn't alone. The smoky light revealing someone in my waders, no skin, just bones. Hoped I just was dreaming. Look to reason for this fright, but my eyes were open. This was no figment of the night. My senses were reeling at what was in my sight. Just me and it, not more than one yard away. Fixed in my boots, some demon angler that left his grave to haunt my wits. How long would this specter stay? One second seemed eternal, while this nightmare stayed with me. What would happen next? That ghouly started reaching out for me. Sure, this was my end all, but the suspenders kept him from grabbing me. It kicked and twirled, stretching the straps up and down from off of that branch, like a puppet gone mad. It danced around. And as it whirled, the branch gave way. It crumpled on the ground. There, in a heap, lay my waders filled with bones, except for its skull, rolling towards me as it moaned. Stopped at my feet, across its face. The moonlight shone. With a swift boot, I sent it sailing into the trees, screaming as it flew. When that pile of bony debris, rattling as it stood, charged off for its head, leaving me. The night dragged on. The woods were silent, not a sound. My fire burned out. Clouds crossed the moon and darkened the ground. I waited for dawn, alone in the dark. I sat spellbound. The first bird sang. As the sun began to color the sky, the air was fresh. The strangest night I had survived. To my feet I sprang. The dead stayed dead, and I was alive. No need to overstay and tempt another hellish scare. I grabbed my gear, then took a look back over where those waiters lay. I figured I'd just go get another pair.